Can you please help me with this? Should I give my tithing and offering? And is it necessary to always be at a church? Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you my understanding of that real quick right now and tell you that uh, you can't biblically tithe today. The principle of the biblical tithe you can do, but you can't literally biblically tithe. Uh, there's no temple and there's no official Levitical priesthood, uh, and you can't biblically tithe. You can give an offering uh, and, or a donation or an offering, or you can help out people that are helping you. Now, technically, there was a difference between a tithe and an offering or a tithe and a donation. A tithe was a, was a more of a biblical commandment uh, that each, each person or tribe was supposed to give 10% of their livestock uh, and their food uh, to the Levitical priesthood, uh, this little book of priesthood where they set apart priesthood. And, and that was that. But offerings were over and beyond that, to help the widow, to help the person in jail, to to help the people in need, to help your neighbor. These were all offerings, not biblically uh, commanded tithes. So uh, so we can't do the tithing today. Now, we can give an offering to those that are, uh, of course, in need, but also those that are spiritually uh, lifting us up or, or helping us spiritually. So uh, you want to call that a tithe. It's not a sin to call that a tithe, but just know, in fact, that it's not literally a tithe. And certainly, you can make it a, a goal to stick to the principles of Scripture as much as possible and desire to uh, not maybe in livestock, but even in money so people can get their livestock to, to, to give your tithe. Now, it doesn't have to be 10% because we've gotten away from the Levitical order of, of a 10% tithe uh, of our livestock. So that tithe could be 9% and it could be 90%. You know, the, the principle and the heart of Yeshua is two things. Number one, that you're a giver more than you are a receiver. That you want to give more than you want to receive. And then number two is, again, order. Are you giving first instead of last? You see, if you truly have a heart to give, you're not saying, well, let me do what I got to do for myself and then give away the rest. No, you're going to want to give that away first. And then figure out how you can do what you can do with the rest. And now it's uh, putting that in order. So hopefully that that helped you here. So and, and that doesn't necessarily need to be a church or 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 or, or, a, or a synagogue or something like that. You know, I know I have people in my life that that help me tremendously from a spiritual standpoint. And now online, that's another thing. Online, there are people that help. Uh, more than your, more than other, other local church. So maybe give it online to those people. Uh, but I do know if you are going to a, a, a local congregation, uh, you know, and, and if it's not a house, and if they do have needs, it's, it's, it's helpful to know what the needs are. And remember, when you're a body, you're a body. It's not one over the other. So the body needs every single part. So if you have the opportunity to help out, fulfill that part, remember, you're not giving to a, a person when you're giving to a congregation. You're supporting the body. So that's important to understand. 